Hey everyone. Today, let's know about the myths behind the immortal bird, the phoenix. Let's start the video, but before that I request you to subscribe to the channel and like this video so that I can bring more exciting ones like this. Very few mythical creatures are considered as majestic and grand as the immortal phoenix bird. In fact, the phoenix bird has impacted cultures, religions and civilizations across the world and time. According to ancient mythology, the phoenix bird is an immortal bird that is reborn from its ashes. In fact, the most prevalent symbolism of this creature is its connection with the sun, which is still used today. In addition, a phoenix bird is said to live for hundreds of years with some references for it living for 500. Others claim it lives for 700 years before it bursts into flames, turns to ash and is reborn. As far as its shape, there are several different depictions with the most prominent one being a mix of an eagle and peacock. It's also radiant and shimmering in purples, reds and yellows with blue sapphire-like eyes. Before its death and subsequent rebirth, the phoenix builds its own nest and funeral pyre while it ignites the single clap of its wings. The Greek version of the phoenix is the most commonly heard of. However, because of their many similarities, some have wondered if it was ancient Egypt that was the origin of the phoenix. Bennu is the Egyptian deity that looked similar to a heron with similar features and traits to the Greek phoenix but goes through rebirth every 500 years. It's also suggested that Bennu was a symbol of the god Osiris. Bennu also lived on top of obelisks and worshiped like a god of ancient Egyptians. In Egypt, it was also considered to symbolize wealth and the fertility of the land, making it an essential part of their culture. Jewish mythology has Milchim, which was one of the creatures that lived in the Garden of Eden. The story states that when Eve succumbed to the temptations of the fruit, she also offered it to the animals in the garden. However, Milchim was among the creatures that refused to consume the fruit. So, to reward the bird's faithfulness, God made it immune to the touch of the angel of death and gave it a town to live for eternity. It's also said that the rebirth cycle only appeared every 1000 years for the milchim. The Hindu mythology also has its version of the phoenix bird called the Garuda. Depicted in the scripture is a giant bird that's considered to be the king of all birds. Garuda is also said to be the mount of the god Vishnu and similarly shaped to an eagle. In addition, the Hindu phoenix bird is also known as the protector against evil, possibly symbolizing its association with the sun. The phoenix bird is also known as the thunder bird in Native American mythology. Like other versions of the phoenix, this is also said to be a giant bird. It is also said to protect against evil and the evil serpent figure from the Native American mythology. In Slavic mythology, the phoenix bird is known as the fire bird. This version has a well-known body of the fire and is the ultimate sign of masculinity. However, there are a few differences between the fire bird and the other phoenix bird depictions. The fire bird turns to ask every fall and is reborn in the spring every year. It's also seen as a sign of a giant falcon instead of an eagle or a peacock. Japanese mythology has phoenix bird being known as Ho-o and was introduced in the mid 6th century AD. It stays in its celestial home and only comes down to earth when a virtuous ruler is born or a new era is coming into being. It symbolizes the empress, justice, fidelity, obedience, justice and the sun the feng huang is a chinese depiction of the phoenix bird and represents the perfect synergy between yin and yang it symbolizes power prosperity grace and virtue but unlike other depictions this version only eats dew drops and is a gentle creature that causes no harm the feng huang is said to have the beak of a rooster the face of a swallow the breast of a goose the neck of a snake 
back of a tortoise, the back side of a stag and the tail of a fish. It's so prominent in the Chinese culture that it's found on homes, jewelry, clothes as well as tombs and graves. Harry Potter by J.K. Rowling wrote the phoenix as being Dumbledore's faithful partner that can burst into flame and is reborn by its ashes. Hans Christian Andersen also wrote the phoenix bird which was born under the tree of good and evil from a blossomed rose in the garden of Eden. There are some differences between the versions of the phoenix from the different cultures mythologies. Even so, the major of the attributes and traits of the noble phoenix can be found to have transcended time just like the immortal bird that rules the skies. Well, that's it for today. I hope you're liking Nerdy's discoveries. Can't wait for the next video to learn more and be fascinated about. See you on the next. Bye.